This is WWE Elite 87, I believe. 87 review of MVP. So let's get into this. We have got this figure. Two interchangeable fist hands, which both have the flip over, come on, come on. Both got that logo on it, the MVP logo. There we are. Both have them on there, so very nice. The only other accessory that you do get with these is both of the Kane's that he wore, which are the 350 and of course the MVP chain. You also get two, the original hands that are Amamas, I believe these were the original, are the balding hands, as I like to call them, because you can do the balding when he's going for the people, is it, I don't know what it's called, the elbow, basketball, like it's called the basketball elbow. And then you also can do it when you do the overdrive, because that's moving wrestling, the overdrive of course. Uh, Gear wise, I wish they picked a different gear because he's had plenty more gears. I believe this was the one where he faced Apollo. It's beside the new, well, the US Championship. But it was in this gear. The gold gear. It's not the gear that I thought they were going to do, which was the Black Panther gear when he came back in that Royal Rumble match. Which I would love to see a figure of that and hopefully they release that one very soon because that one I think could do money but, so but anyways very good figure I wish he'd had chose different attire that's one of my th problems with this uh, I wish he did a slightly better head scan or even an interchangeable head because they were doing those yet so I don't know I will say seven no, go wait, go wait. It's still a very good kit figure. Very nice tattoo work. So yeah, I hope you like and subscribe. That would help me out very much. Thank you and goodbye.